exclusive. I'm just tired of getting my butt kicked from both sides on this. It'll be all right. Are you smoking cigarettes in there? Nope. These banks and the credit card companies, they're ripping off the people. With almost no regulations. I'm trying to make a consumer agency to protect families. And the lobbyists and Senator Shelby act like I want to change the national anthem to I got 99 problems and a bitch ain't one. Go to bed, sweetheart. Your heart will tell you what to do. Okay. Come here, snuck over here. to Dick Cheney. Relax. It's just us. Man. And Michelle has got some legs on her. How'd you two get in here? The security code is still one, two, three, four from when I was pressed. Only took me five times to remember it. We heard you were tossing and turning over whether to push for federal regulations, so we're here to give you some advice. Yeah, well, he said. You two are the ones who stripped out all the regulations. Why would I want advice from you? Dude, it was the 90s. People did all kinds of crazy things. Yeah, I'm still waiting for a bunch of e-toys that never showed up. Besides, when I put the Iraq war on my credit card, I never dreamed I'd be paying 28% in interest rates. It's astronomical. Yeah, well, if you'd listened to me, it would have raised taxes. Yeah, and then I would have had one term. <laughs> yeah, that second term of yours was a real victory lapper, wasn't it, Dubbers? Now listen, Borat. Barack. Sorry, but you gotta listen to these fellas, Babar. What you gotta understand mm. is that we got a regulatory issue here. We gotta regulate that, and we're gonna get more bubbles. Mm -hmm. Gonna get bigger, larger, then pop. Money goes to the weasels. Sometimes you gotta do the right thing. You gotta mm. take those approval ratings there and Screw them. Ratings. Screw. Right? Take them to a nasty town. Well, I know a thing or two about doing what's right and being unpopular. Oh, great. If it isn't Mr. Let's get the party started. <laughs> what do you say we open up a bag of Malay's potato chips? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. President, you have to establish the Consumer Finance Protection Agency. People are tired of being ripped off by credit card companies and banks. Never could get this right. There you go again. This can't be. You're dead. I saw them lower your coffin into the ground. Well, I am dead. But I've come back as a spirit. To help Mr. Reach across the aisles here. Grow up here. <laughs> <laughs> now listen up. You son of a Minnehone. I went up against Tip O'Neill with nothing but a psychic oracle mm. and these pendulous balls. But I pushed through the competition. I clobbered everybody and I took down that wall. Now grab those eight balls and push the Consumer Protection Agency through. Betty, did you change the locks again? Live from New York! This isn't live. This is funnierdying.com. Well, the only way to stop these corrupt banks and credit card companies is to pardon Richard Nixon. He means you gotta get that Consumer Protection Act through Congress. Jimmy Carter? Why, you're dead. No, Jerry, you're dead. Oh. Huh. Well, <laughs> I'm dead. But I'm going to be a guest on Dancing with the Stars this season. Okay. I hope this little talk has helped. So what you're saying is, I should clean up this mess that you all created. Take on the banks and all their trillions of dollars. How is this helpful? It's a bitch. It's a bitch. But uh, as George Washington once said to John Adams, tag your it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Rose some nuts for the Gipper. It's going to be hard, never going to be easy. Nothing wrong with one turn, Barack. Just do me a solid and don't tell Chaney I was here. My dad or alive? Can I be ambassador to Cancun? <gasps> what is it, honey? I'm going to make a pot of coffee. Wake the cabinet. I've got work to do. Oh, and honey? Nicorette's in the sock drawer. Sweet. The banks have billions of dollars to spend to get their message out, but your speech is free. Contact your senators about the CFPA. Nothing annoys them more than having to do their jobs.